Today's obituaries are brought to you by Moss Service and Hansville Funeral Home. Funeral services for Daryl W. Amerson, age 63, of Hansville, will be at 2 p.m. tomorrow at Hansville Funeral Home Chapel, burial with military honors in Hopewell Cemetery, Hansville Funeral Home directing. Mr. Amerson passed away on Monday. Visitation will be from noon until 2 p.m. on Thursday. Graveside services for Sarah Nell Sutton, age 74, of Trustville, will be at 11 a.m. tomorrow at Duck River Cemetery in Holly Pond. Jefferson Memorial of Trustville is directing. Ms. Sutton passed away on Sunday. Visitation will be 5 to 7 p.m. tonight at the funeral home. And those are our obituaries for today, brought to you by Moss Service and Hansville Funeral Home. Welcome to Today on Two, brought to you by Premier Bank, and we are broadcasting live at channel2coleman.com, and we archive our programs at the same website. Yeah. I like to go back and see what I look like. <laughs> Long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> it is kind of fun to do that, isn't it? Actually, if you go back and look at um, two or three weeks before Thanksgiving. Were you thinner? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know I was. <laughs> yes. At least by five pounds. Jeez. So, so that isn't always a good idea. Yeah. No, it gives you incentive. <laughs> oh, right. I did look like that at one time. I can do that yeah, again. That's right. Okay, let's start with our weather forecast for today. Brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet. Here's the weather forecast for today. Sunny with a high around 38. Cloudy tonight, lower 24. Mostly cloudy and windy tomorrow, warming up to 47. 54 on Friday, 63 on Saturday, 56 on Sundays. We get back to more normal temperatures. I think uh, today will be the last day of the really cold, cold weather. And this morning, probably as cold as we're going to see, hopefully for the rest of the winter. Well, I don't know about that. This was supposed to be a really cold winter, and I'm thinking... Cold? More? I, I would imagine. And did you <laughs> notice the satellite picture? It looked like there's a bunch of <laughs> cold up there. So we can stay up there. So yeah, I'm hope, concerned. Hopefully it will, but that's no guarantee. I don't think we're. I don't think we're done well, by any means. Mm -mm. Gosh, well, I hope you're wrong. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. Let's check our Facebook friend of the day for today, and uh, this is somebody we both know. It is. It's Miss Gail Ledbetter, and she likes musicals and Wallace State. So thanks for being our friend, and we will go ahead and reward her by giving her that certificate to get a large barbecue sandwich from Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue. And we have a good friend coming to see us today with something, uh, some new news to tell us about, I guess. Yes, we do. Mr. Drew Green is here. Of course, he is with the Coleman County Museum, and he's got a couple of uh, interesting facts and information about some people, some local people, and so we're going to talk to him about that. New book to talk about. New too. book, yeah. and I think a movie he was saying, so yeah. Okay. George Spear is here with news and commentary. We'll be back right after this. At Premier Bank, we're a bit old-fashioned. We actually answer the telephone when you call. However, old-fashioned doesn't mean we aren't up to date. With the latest technology, Premier Bank meets the various needs of our customers. Mobile smartphone banking, internet banking, ATMs, convenient offices. At Premier Bank, we have the right products right now with good old-fashioned customer service. At Premier Bank, we put the customer first. Life lived in black and white is not a life lived. Today, I choose color. To see it. To feel it to be in it, to be upon it, and to live a life surrounded by it. Today, 
I put on a fresh coat. Four years ago, you voted for a change and sent conservatives like Mac Buttram to the Alabama House of Representatives. Thanks to conservative leaders like Mac Buttram, Cullman County has gone from record unemployment to one of the lowest in the state. New industries are locating in Alabama. Mac Buttram sponsored legislation that would ensure our workforce is prepared for the jobs of tomorrow. Conservatives like Mac Buttram have just started. The brightest days are yet to come. Cool, not very cold, but cold enough Wednesday morning. Well, stalled buses, power outages, burst lines caused school closures yesterday in Lawrence and Limestone and Morgan counties. And this morning, Coleman County schools start two hours later. So uh, that's, we've had some difficulties here this morning, uh, technical difficulties, and did, I meant to get a slide up for that to, to let you know. But Coleman County schools starting two hours later this morning. Uh, everything else seems to be on track. Uh, couldn't get the buses started in Lawrence and Morgan counties. I was uh, t attempting to find out whether or not Coleman County had any difficulty yesterday, but man, bus is not starting. You had a 101-year-old woman fell outside her home early Monday morning, treated for hypothermia. They, her name's not being released, but uh, they called an ambulance out to take her in, and uh, she was responsive, but uh, don't know the circumstances. They weren't even able to tell if time if she was living with someone or not you know so just a horrible situation sometimes we think more of our pets than we do about grandma you know and grandpa and uh, that's a issue to be dealt with too uh, this was very cold but not as cold as the lowest temperature ever recorded in Coleman County was when was that how about 1918 1918 minus 17 degrees on January the 13th at uh, St. Bernard's Abbey, according to one of the meteorologists. And uh, Coleman reached four degrees. I uh, see the last time Coleman reached four degrees was four years ago on January the 9th, uh, 2010, at, uh, according to St. Bernard's uh, calculations and equipment. So anyway, having said that, I guess that uh, it looks like it's going to be one of those days where the fat lady continues to sing. Man, we got rental property with let the cold water go, you know, drip, 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 drip. But the hot water, they didn't. So now the hot water line is frozen up. <laughs> oh, boy. And it's that case in a number of places this morning uh, in Coleman County. And as I said, the fat lady continues to sing. In June, Governor Robert Bentley found out about something that was going on that had been going on for decades, and that is the National Highway Transportation uh, Department, for lack of a, the correct term, the feds were doing stop checkpoints. They would do DNA tests. They were doing sobriety tests, asking questions. And this was without, without probable cause, but they were being stopped with the help of the uh, uh, state troopers. And in some cases, uh, sheriff's departments. Now, because of everyone's scrutiny of NSA and invasion of privacy, people are beginning to pay attention. Out west in Texas, they're saying, no, we're not doing it. Governor Bentley back in June said uh, this is bad timing, and it is such an invasion, it would seem, of privacy. Now, the feds say that's good because they can determine trends and yada, yada, no one was arrested. But when the highway patrol pulls you over and tells you we need to do a survey, that seems like an abuse of power, does it not? And along with the other law enforcement folks. Well, we go from the important to the mundane. If you run out of Kraft Velveeta, don't be upset. It's this time of year, they say, when everyone uses it to make dip at all the ball games. <laughs> and let's see, the, um, <clears throat> the camcorder, isn't it something how something can be there and all of one minute and all of a sudden it's gone? Try to find a camcorder at Kmart or Walmart. It's kind of hard to do. And why is that? Because, well, cell phones shoot real good video. But Sony's coming out with it. This is like $2,000. I don't know. I don't think many people will be anxious to go buy this, except people who are uh, prosumers, is that the term, whenever it comes to shooting video. Folks like in our business and such, where you don't want to pay some fifty, sixty thousand $60,000 for a camera. 
and 2,000 is a lot more attractive. But you need the bottom line, as in everything when it comes to television, is you can have good pictures with a cell phone camera. You can have very good pictures, very good quality. But if you're in a room with other people, that audio is going to get you. The audio will get you because you'll get that echoing noise, other people talking, and it's because you don't have a mic input. One of those things, just a bit of technicality. Stay tuned more today on 2 after this. At Premier Bank, we are very proud of the long-lasting relationships we have with our customers. We'll go almost anywhere to meet your banking needs. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising, and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. Meet the KitchenAid 36-inch induction cooktop. It might just change the way you cook. Induction technology heats the pan and not the cooking surface to offer you a new level of precision, speed, and energy efficiency. Nine settings give you different levels of heat to achieve precise temperatures and amazing responsiveness. Water boils in just seconds, making this the fastest to boil induction cooktop available. The KitchenAid 36-inch induction cooktop. Today's prizes are a package, a family package from Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue, one pound of meat, 16 outsides, four buns and sauce, and a day pass to the Coleman Wellness and Aquatic Center. A new fitness facility in downtown Coleman called Be Fit. It's right next to Renard's Gallery and Gifts. It's $50 per month, month to month, no contracts. Membership includes a certified personal trainer. And Earl's Body Shop voted best towing service. David, Diane, and employees, thank you for this honor. They have large and small towing available, local or long distance. You can visit them on the web at earlsbodyshop.com or on Highway 31 North. Yates Chance Christian Bookstore snuggle up to a winter with a good book. They have inspiration, humor, social issues, biographies, and fiction. They're located in the South Coleman Shopping Center. Fashion. We actually answer the telephone when you call. However, old-fashioned doesn't mean we aren't up to date. With the latest technology, Premier Bank meets the various needs of our customers. Mobile smartphone banking, internet banking, ATMs, convenient offices. At Premier Bank, we have the right products right now with good old-fashioned customer service. At Premier Bank, we put the customer first. Life lived in black and white? is not a life lived. Today, I choose color. To see it. To feel it. To be in it. To be upon it. And to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat. Four years ago, you voted for a change and sent conservatives like Mac Buttram to the Alabama House of Representatives. Thanks to conservative leaders like Mac Buttram, Coleman County has gone from record unemployment to one of the lowest in the state. New industries are locating in Alabama. Mac Buttram sponsored legislation that would ensure our workforce is prepared for the jobs of tomorrow. Conservatives like Mac Buttram have just started. The brightest days are yet to come. 
Fetter Fertilizer, they're helping you grow fertilizer, seed, and feed. Mr. Hicks Menswear, they're now offering suits made to your measurements. They're having a necktie sale going on right now. They're located on Compass Way. And Tires for Less is more than just tires. They offer oil changes, minor engine repairs, and shocks and brakes repairs. Come and see Greg and the guys at Tires for Less. They're on 2nd Avenue on Highway 31. And the new Five Buck Lunch is available every day from 11 to 4 at Dairy Queen. It's new and it includes dessert and you can upgrade your Sunday to a small blizzard for just a dollar. Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue, they're now serving breakfast and offering family barbecue packs with one pound of meat, two 16 ounce sides and four buns. They're located inside the Berlin Quick Stop. Cotton State Barns of Coleman, buy or rent to own carports, play sets, utility trailers, storage buildings, and more. No credit check, you're approved. You can buy or rent to own there. That's Cotton State Barns of Coleman. Hello, my name is Caitlin from Premier Bank, and I'm here to talk to you about balancing your checkbook. Please be sure to write down all checks that you write and all debit card transaction you do with your debit card, so this way it keeps you away from insufficient funds. Insufficient fund fee is $25 and these could add up very quickly. Internet banking could also make balancing your checkbook easier for you. If you have any questions, feel free to come by your local bank today and we'll be glad to help you. And now it's time for our second round of merchant ads. Amerigas is now Coast Gas, different name with the same personnel. They have a winner tank set special going on right now with 24 hour on call service, 24 7 answering service, competitive pricing, full service inside and out. Auto Tech Repair and Service, they are Tech Net Professional Auto Service. Electronic diagnostics and major engine repairs are offered. You can go and visit them in the Vinemont area. Mullins Body Shop, you've counted on them for over 50 years for auto body repair and towing. And you can count on them today. Call Sunny, Stacy, Beth, or Jim. And Brown and Company Beverages is thanking you for 2013 and looking forward to providing you the best beer and wine for 2014. You can visit them on Highway 157. Deb's Bookstore is your hometown bookstore just down the road. Browsers are welcome and gift certificates are available. Used books are half price every day and new books are 20% off every day. That's a Deb's Bookstore. Jolly Time Rentals, where fun is always in the air. Call Holly Mullins today to book at 620-JOLLY. They have licensed inflatables, slides, toddler interactives, and more. Night Free Insurance has been providing insurance coverage for over three generations. They're one of the top 10 growth agencies in the state of Alabama for auto owners. And you can visit them on the web at night-freeinsurance.com. Fetter Fertilizer is helping you grow. They offer fertilized seed and feed, ag chemicals, lawn garden supplies. Uh, specialty items are also available. Visit them at fetterfertilizer.com. Grand Point Pharmacy, be prepared. Don't get caught in the cold. They have a wide selection of cold remedies, fast, convenient service. They're located on Highway 31 North. Fitness opportunities are available at the Coleman Wellness and Aquatic Center. They have a six-lane competition pool, a full fitness center complete with weights, cardio, and professional training, indoor rubberized walking track, and more. Day passes available. Hansel Guns and Ammo, locked and loaded. Paul targets high prices. Cash purchase guns, 15% above wholesale. They're located on the corner across from City Hall. That's Hansel Guns and Ammo. Toward the freeway, he is doing 44 in a 45. Now in the like nation, safe just got a little more like exciting. Add vanishing there, deductible good. from nationwide insurance and get hundred dollars off for every year of safe driving. Just another way we put members first because we don't have shareholders. Bill, that's perfect merch. That was just that was flawless. Nationwide is on your side. Four years ago, you voted for a change and sent conservatives like Mac Buttram to the Alabama House of Representatives. Thanks to conservative leaders like Mac Buttram, Coleman County has gone from record unemployment to one of the lowest in the state. New industries are locating in Alabama. Mac Buttram sponsored legislation that would ensure our workforce is prepared for the jobs of tomorrow. Conservatives like Mac Buttram have just started. The brightest days are yet to come. 
All right, we're back. <laughs> I'm so glad we know that. And we are here visiting with Drew Green today, who is with the Coleman County right. Museum. And he has brought on a new book, yes. right? right? Written by Buell Cobb, Correct. right? Local, local uh, boy. Local boy. Local boy done good. <laughs> yes. So he's not a boy anymore, right. is he? Yeah. <laughs> well, great. So we've got his book mm -hmm. here. Tell me a little bit about this. Well, Coleman is uh, internationally famous for our Sacred Harp uh, singing, the Denson family. Uh, the Sacred Heart Publishing Company was in Coleman for years, and our courthouse is the only one left that has a singing convention. And in his book, it's nice because he defines all the words. A singing is just an event, but a convention is uh, used to be three or four days. Now it's just two. And every July at the courthouse here in Coleman, we have that convention, and people come from all over the world uh, to participate. I never knew that. Did you know that? No, I didn't. I didn't and we're the last one left, as far as we know, the yeah. courthouse. Uh, now, tell me, what exactly is this for people that don't, uh, aren't familiar? Well, it originated uh, in England about the time of the Reformation. Uh, uh, the new Protestant churches didn't have the uh, musical instruments or background, so this is a way just to use the human voice uh, to sing, to praise the Lord. Uh, it doesn't have to necessarily be religious, but it usually is. Most mm -hmm. of the songs are. Uh, but they encourage everybody pr to participate. Um, and, they s and it's called participatory singing because it's not for the beauty, it's for everybody joining in. And you sit in the four groups, uh, alto, tenor, soprano, and, uh, and across from each other and you mm -hmm. sing with a conductor and they just kind of do like a metronome with their hand. Uh, so it's real interesting and it kind of died out. Uh, there was a, a lady from Coleman named Miss Ruth Edwards who taught at East Elementary for many years and she's from the Denson family and she kind of kept it alive. And in 2003 uh, there was a Civil War movie called Coal Mountain and they yes. used a lot of that music in there so it's had a resurgence mm -hmm. but it's become popular not in rural areas, but in urban areas. Oh. Atlanta, New York, big cities like that, a mm -hmm. lot of people enjoy it. But we have local churches that do this yes, all the time, right. every Sunday, right. right? Well, not every Sunday, but okay. I, there is a group, I think, in uh, uh, around Crane Hill that meets mm -hmm. maybe monthly, every month. Well, I'm not talking about groups. I'm talking about the church actually does not use mis musical some, instruments. Some churches some, do not right. use uh, uh -huh. musical instruments. So, right. And it helped when the, you know people came here uh, because they didn't have the instruments, you know, for the early settlers. So it was right. a, it's a, it's an old tradition, but it's having a resurgence. Now, are you having a book signing, I understand? We're negotiating with him. He's okay. interested and we're interested. We just got to get the timetable worked out. Okay. Where does Buell live now? In Birmingham. Okay. So. okay. Yeah. And um, the book, I assume, is available at the museum. This is the very first copy. He he gave it to us. It's actually copyrighted 2014, so okay. that's how new it is. Yes. So the ink isn't even dry yet. Right, the ink is not dry, <laughs> but we, we will hopefully have some, and we'll have the author here uh, okay. to sign. Okay, fantastic, fantastic. Okay, and you want to talk about a little something else, didn't you? Well, i tell you what, before we move on, why don't you talk about the, the opportunity to learn more about it, right? right? Uh, they have a camp called Camp Fossa Law, so if you're interested in learning how to sing Sacred Harp, uh, and it's for adults, so if you want to relive your childhood, it's a whole week at camp. Okay. <laughs> and <laughs> the adult camp is uh, June uh, 8th through the 12th uh, this year, and it's at Camp McDowell in Double Springs. Uh, okay, so real close by, right. so yeah. And they have a website, Camp Fossa Law, uh, if you'd like to, All right. to check it out. And we have just a couple more minutes. What else did you want to well, talk about Well, I wanted to mention another uh, interesting uh, person from Coleman, uh, Father uh, Patrick O'Neill from St. Bernard. In 1929, he was a prison chaplain in Colorado, and they had a riot. And he was responsible for uh, quelling the riot. And he received the Car Carnegie Medal for Heroism. Oh. And in 1939, they made a movie about it. And the world premiere of the movie was here in Coleman. Uh, wow. Mutiny in the Big House is the <laughs> name of it. Okay. And it is available on YouTube for free if you'd like to watch the whole uh, episode but it's uh, interesting to know that someone from Coleman uh, was, was yeah. active like that. Well very good. Murder in the big house. Mur mur mutiny in the big yeah. house. Yeah. Mutiny in the big yes. house. Yes. But there were some people killed so it was really a yeah. serious uh, oh, event. Oh so. very big yeah. <laughs> World premiere Coleman Alabama there was a huge ad in the paper and a letter from the mayor and uh, so it was, a, it was a real honor for us. Yeah I suppose it was. Oh, sure. Well thank you so much Drew for thank being you. here today. Need to encourage people to go to the museum. Come see huh? us. Ancestry.com April walking tours, we have a lot of things going on. Yeah, you really do. Well, thank you for thank being you. here. I appreciate it. We'll be back with more right after this.
At Premier Bank, we are very proud of the long-lasting relationships we have with our customers. We'll go almost anywhere to meet your banking needs. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising, and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. Billboards are brought to you by Pepsi and Coleman Jefferson Gas. The Miss Senior Coleman Pageant will be on Saturday, January the 18th at 2 p.m. at Wallace State Community College in the Betty Leith Haynes Theater. And our community billboards are brought to you by Pepsi and Coleman Jefferson Gas. If you have a billboard that you would like to email to us, please send it to channel2coleman at gmail.com, fax it to 734-7680, or be a friend on Facebook, Channel 2 Coleman. Today on 2 has been brought to you by Premier Bank. We hope you have a great day.